<laughs> I'm Emma. That's Josh. This is our 50 foot catamaran, and you're watching Sailing Uncut. Good morning, guys. Good morning, everyone. It is officially day one of daily vlogs. We are currently up on the hard in Redland Bay. We weren't supposed to be on the hard. No. Just for the record. We were supposed to be out cruising around the bay. So we actually stocked this boat ready for about a month of cruising. And then our first day out, things started going wrong. But we're going to save all of yeah. those stories for another day. But so we're here now. We're, we're here. here. We're up on the hard. It is the middle of summer in Australia. It is bloody hot. As you guys may or may not know, we are going to completely refit this boat. So we're just going to start. We thought, you know what, rather than stay out there, we're going to come in, put ourselves up on the hard and just start getting stuck into it. So our plan is to make it a lot easier for the refit. What we're going to do is completely gut the boat from head to toe and pretty much just start with a blank slate. So to do that, we have to get all of our personal belongings off here. We have to get everything that's on this boat that is not going to stay needs to end up gone. gone. Somewhere else. We don't know where it's going to go. We've got plenty of people who have offered storage facilities to us, garages and rooms and whatnot, so we're going to take you up on that. <laughs> yes, thank you to all of those people who have offered. You are going to soon regret it. I think what you guys are going to very quickly realise is that we have no plan from day one. We no. have no idea what we're going to do. Everything is going to And we be... have no idea what we're doing, so we have to learn how yep. to do what we need to do as we go. Everything is going to be a new discovery for us. So we're going to literally just bring you along for the ride. Day, Every day. one. Every single day. Here we go. Let's see if we can make this happen. That's our boat. All right, so to make things easier, we're going to go straight to Bunnings and get some moving boxes. Um, otherwise, we're going to be double moving things. We don't want to do that. So we're going to get moving boxes. We're going to show you around the boat. We're just going to pack everything into boxes and put it in the car. That's the plan. Alrighty, we are back now. I'm just going to set the camera up in different angles um, while I decide what I'm going to pack and take off the boat and then what's going to stay. I'm going to spend the next hour figuring out what clothes we are going to keep here and then what ones we don't need. You know, things like our wet weather gear and all of our beach type clothes, our swimmers just don't need to be on the boat right now because all we're going to be are in working clothes while we do the refit. So the ones that we're not going to use, I'm just going to box up and we'll bring them back when the boat's in the water. All right, while Em's on the port side doing that, I'm going to try and wrangle the sups. We don't need the stand up paddles anymore. They blow up on, so I'm going to try and get those back into their bags and get them into the car because we obviously don't need them on the hard. That's the life raft and it's way too heavy for me to do one handed and vlog. So I'm just going to move that out of the way. There's a storm sail I'm going to get out of the way and then I can get the subs. That's did you wait stop did you did you know what you were just doing then i wasn't going fast but were you wait 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 were you paying attention yes oh my god i don't know if anyone just realized what's happening but he started reversing and wasn't paying attention and nearly hit one of the supports on our boat don't do that and naughty. literally half an hour ago he was telling me naughty oh, to be careful this one drives me crazy that's me that's you you make it out as if I'm gonna like break um, everything and then the you two break people in this everything. Car, who has reversed into stuff twice now? Twice? Mm, a certain ute that was being borrowed. That was once. And then um, maybe the mirror on this side. Oh, oh maybe shit. twice. <laughs>
there are a lot of stereotypes for females and males in relation to sailing. Now you've just seen all of the bats of clothes that I've packed up and are ready to get off the boat. And now this is what we have left. So if we have a look here, what percentage do you think of my clothes versus percentage do you think of Josh's clothes? So have a look. All right. <laughs> Now let's count it up. This is my section, right? One, two, three little containers that are holding my clothes. Let's count Josh's. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Josh has double the amount than I do on okay. this boat. All right, rebuttal. Point it at me. <laughs> Look at how, hang on. Can you, can you see okay, me? Yeah, I can see you. Look at how sweaty I am. Look at my back sweat, some sweat, like, look at that man sweat. This is why I need more t-shirts. Hang on, you ready? How much sweat? None. No sweat. <laughs> not working hard enough. Not working hard enough. <laughs> Clearly not working hard enough. I need lots of t-shirts because I'm sweaty boy. What's gonna be your favorite bit to rip off? The carpet. I am so excited to get rid of this carpet. I have a massive dust allergy and I went to the doctors once and they said if you can avoid it make sure you don't live in a house that has carpet. Our whole boat is literally top to toe covered in carpet so I sound snuffly now because I'm just constantly get the sneezes from this freaking carpet so the day that I get to rip this carpet off is going to be a bloody good day. All right we can't make the whole first video just boring moving stuff so I'm gonna cut a hole. I'm literally just gonna cut a hole in the boat because I want to. So this is probably one of the worst areas and we're obviously gonna attack it from the outside, but for now I'm just gonna cut a little hole and see how much water because about three or four months ago, I just there was like a little bit of trickling goo coming down the wall. Like, so I just put a drill, drilled a little hole and it came spurting out. We'll show you that clip now. That's kind of gross. Oh, it's all over me. Oh, this is more than I thought that would be. <laughs> <laughs> right, so that's what's behind here. But what I want to do is cut a little hole further this way and see how far the water goes. Because because we can. Because I can do whatever I want. And for reference, I'm in the um, starboard head. Um, we've taken the toilet out because the holding tank got clogged. It was really gross. We have footage of that. I don't even know if I want to show you that footage because it was really bad. But um, this is just kind of our makeshift shower because we used, when we were living on the boat, this as a shower. See how super squishy that is? All of this was just, I just drilled holes to let the, the goo ooze out and then I've just epoxied it up and chucked some tape over it so it looks a bit nicer. But I know all of this is super squishy. This feels pretty good. That feels squishy there. I've got a feeling this is all good. So I think... This is all getting redone anyway, so whatever I do, we'll have to get patched up and, and all fixed anyway. So I think I'm just gonna cut. This is the first official hole. First official cut made on the hard. And that's dry balsa. I was not expecting that. I thought it would be the whole way down here. Yeah, let's just cut here for a comparison. Keep in mind, this is one of the worst parts of the boat. That we know of. <laughs> oh, yeah. Found it. Found it. <gasps> so it's actually really good to know because it looks like there's only a tiny layer of glass and then the core. So it, this is just cool to know how it's actually been built. So that's literally just rot, rotten core. That's rotten core there. So I pull that out. <gasps> that's just mush. Mush. And then see that bit there? Yeah. That's the outside of the boat. This is probably going to be one of those holes that I cut that I wish I didn't cut, but I also am just super curious and I need to mull it around in my brain for the next month before we actually start attacking it. So hopefully there's a, la a layer or a line or, you know, there's clearly something, maybe here, maybe there's something along here that can't let the water go through, hmm. which is good. There's good news. Who knows where it goes because of that. Obviously it goes down to the bottom of the hull because there's 
issues there, but that's, it's not wheat bix there, it's, it's pretty solid there. We've decided I'm gonna take the mirror off and just see how far this way it goes. I do want to try not to break the mirror, but. Mirror stays. Why? I'm just, it's, it's pretty stuck. And I reckon it's gonna snap when I, I want a face shield or something. What are we? Soggy. Like no core there. Yeah, look at that. Can you get close over that? Okay. pretty stuck and I reckon it's gonna snap when I so I want a face shield or something let's go back to packing up the boat <laughs> So that's dry balsa. What have we got? We've got dry. Not dry. Not dry. Not, Not dry. 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 <laughs> okay. We're getting somewhere. Stop. Not completely catastrophic. food. I had the boat stock for probably about a month because that's how long we were expecting to be out on the water for. But we were on the water for 24 hours. Because we're staying at our friend's house um, on and off while we're doing this project, I just thought it's going to be easier to get all the food over to their place so then I can just prepare our own food over there because it's just going to be too difficult to cook while we're on the hive. And we just have so many other things, more things going on while we're doing it. So that's probably gonna be the least of our worries. It's all packed up and thank you Jacinta and Mitch. We are coming with all of our crap and I don't think you realize how much it is. <sighs> Done. Day one is complete. It's well, kind of, we're not finished yet. Yes, it's currently 20 past five. The plan at this point in time is that I am going to get all of that crap out of the cockpit, load it into the car and then go over to our friend's house tonight. I'm gonna stay there the night and then start editing this footage. And I'm gonna stay here and work on our logo because we don't have a logo yet. We don't have an intro, so I'm gonna do the intro. You would have already seen both of those things, so I, but I'm gonna do them right now. Um, and maybe some other cool graphic designing type stuff. Yeah, just so we, we still have to figure out our channel branding and all of those sort of things. So that's what we're trying to get sorted. I hope you enjoyed this video today. You probably noticed it's going to be quite slow paced, but we're doing daily vlogs. So if you don't like a video, just skip to the next one or just, you know, end it and, and watch tomorrow because it's going to be uncut. You know, that's the whole point of this channel is that it's it's daily content. It's just, it is what it is. This is how, this is our life. So you're along for the entire ride. Yeah. So, so, so you're off. You're going to leave me. I'm leaving you now. Why myself? And now we're going to say, see you tomorrow. I'm going to do it at the same time for the first one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to count this out. One, two, three. See, see you, you tomorrow. tomorrow. Oh, no, I did this. So we will see you see tomorrow. See you tomorrow. <laughs> There is one of us saying. So I'll, I'll say my bit, then you say a bit. Alright, so we have to go load up the car now. <laughs> just fucking stole my bit. That was my bit. <laughs> What's my bit? You just said that. Okay. <laughs> she stole my bit. Alright, you just say everything. Alright, so we're going to load up the car. Yeah. You're going to go. You're going to leave me here all by myself. Yes. Um, so we'll leave the video here. Video's done. Video First video is out done. of the way. Alright, All right. see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. <laughs> I was waiting the whole time.
something. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> All right, we actually will see. Bye. See, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Bye.